Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about leadership and shoes. Are you ready? Let's get started. Yes, again, I'm taking a challenge to connect an idea to leadership. This week, two people have given me the same idea. Ben Scott and Anna Alicia Barreto both said, Kevin, leadership and shoes. Can you do it? Why, yes, I can. And I'm about to do it right now. And because I've picked what Ben and Anna Alicia gave me, I'm sending them a journal. And if you give me an idea that we pick later, you can put your ideas right down in the comments. If we like and pick one of your ideas, we'll send you a journal too. Okay, now, uh, leadership and shoes. Well, there are definitely different styles of shoes, right? Different styles of shoes, different styles of leaders. I've talked about this before, including in an episode just last week. There's a link here in case you missed it. But here's the thing. There are lots of different shoes that can keep our feet protected and allow us to not have, not have cold feet, I suppose, and, and keep our feet from, make it easier for us to walk. And yet, as leaders, uh, there are different styles of leaders, and, and many, many of them can do the same kind of things, but not all of them are going to be the right fit in the right situation. For us as leaders, we need to make sure that we're doing what we need for our team members so we have the right fit, right? Second, when you buy a new pair of shoes, it takes some time to break in those shoes. Now, I'm not suggesting that we should break in a leader, but I am suggesting that as it takes time for us to feel out a new leader, to understand what the expectations are, in fact, that happens both directions, right? We need, to, we need to take some time to build a comfort level with the leader, just like we need to build a comfort level so we don't get blisters on our feet from our new shoes. Number three, once we're comfortable, I mean, once you've got a pair of shoes that you're really comfortable in, it's a great experience, right? Like you love those shoes. Have you ever had a pair of shoes that you absolutely loved and then they were finally worn out and you had to get rid of them? Have you ever had a boss that you really liked working with, a leader that you really enjoyed and trusted and all those things and then, and then you no longer were working for them? It was sad, wasn't it? Once this gets comfortable, it's a great experience. Once there's a great fit between you and your leader, great things can happen just like a great pair of shoes. Next. Not everything is the same, though, about leadership and shoes. In fact, there's a couple things that are quite different that I think we ought to talk about. Number one, it's not alike because leaders can adjust. Once you got the shoes, that's the size of the shoe. But leaders can make adjustments. And in fact, good leaders, like all of you listening, are willing to make an adjustment when needed so you can be more successful with your team. We can adjust our styles. We can adjust our communication approaches. Shoes can't do that. They're locked in. Leaders are not. And the other thing is that we can pick our shoes, right? You go to the store and pick out the shoes you want. We can't always pick out our leaders. I mean, unless you decide to leave one job and go to another, then maybe you can pick out your leader. But most of us are in a spot and the leader comes to us and now we've got them. So it's our opportunity as a team member to work to find that fit. And it's our responsibility as a leader to work to find that fit. Well, there it is, leadership and shoes. Let me close with today's tweet. Strive to be a leader people love as much as their favorite pair of shoes. Each Monday morning, we send a newsletter out to thousands of people titled Unleashing Your Remarkable Potential. And I'd love to add you to that list. But I can't add you, but you can add yourself by clicking on the link right here. Why would you do that? Well, if you enjoyed this episode and you enjoyed both learning something and having a little fun while you're doing it, coming from someone that you know cares about you and you reaching your potential, then this is the newsletter for you every Monday morning. Sign up and join us, won't you? And I'll be back next week with another episode of Remarkable TV.